I first looked at Hex, I had doubts. I thought, well, how the hell does this thing make money? How does Hex generate the income to be able to pay me the interest that, that is paid? And that took me a little while to get my head around. And I think the main thing, once you understand this, you really kind of get the, um, the game theory is just phenomenal within Hex. So one of the principles of Hex is that everyone that actually buys Hex, it's inflationary. So there's an inflation rate, I think it's 3.69%. Now that's paid to everyone that holds Hex, everyone that has Hex is paid that inflation rate. Now what, or is available, that is available to the individual. However, the only ones that actually are able to obtain that are the ones that stake. Now, depending on the number of people that stake HEC, HEX will determine how much interest you're likely to receive. So, for example, if only 10% of people actually stake HEX, then the interest that's paid is, is significantly higher than the 3.69%. So effectively, um, let's just say we had 100 people and only 10 of us decide to stake, those other 90, their 3.69% is effectively transferred to us. So as a consequence of that, we're getting outsized returns. Now that's the not the only game mechanic, there's others. So for example, if you agree to stake your hex for say five years and you decide to end early, well, there's penalties that will be paid that you'll have to pay to do that. And sometimes those penalties are quite severe. So people can emergency uh, exit out of a staking pool, but what ends up happening is any interest that they've earned is actually foregone and potentially they may actually lose some of their initial asset base. So the real benefit there is the system is actually holding you to account to say, hey, if you're going to do this and you promise to do this for five years, then if you break your promise, you're going to lose some of that interest and potentially some of the capital that you've invested. So ultimately all of those penalties are redirected to the people that do what they say they're going to do so again your interest or the amount that's actually distributed to the people that are staking that are actually doing what they're in, what they've said that they will do is actually paid at a much higher rate so that's in effect how some of these outsized returns because initially i thought my goodness it's you know if i hold this thing for five to ten years some of the returns are like 30 40 percent it's quite significant and the reason behind that is exactly that, that the game mechanics for this basically says that if you don't do the right thing, whatever you've effectively earned is going to be transferred to the people that do the right thing. And ultimately, once you end your stake, you're going to receive a significant amount of hex um, once you mint the hex at the end of that staking period.